Hey guys, I'm going to show you a couple of the new features that is an OS Lion and I'll show you guys how to get rid of some of the most annoying features. So firstly once you install Lion you will notice that you have two new icons in your dock first of which is Launchpad which literally just turns your Mac to start looking like an iPad. It lists out all your applications. You could put applications in folders. It's not terribly useful, but it's there if you need it, I guess. Um, next up, we have Mission Control, which is basically what spaces were before you get four well not four, you can add however much you want so when spaces were in cubes in Snow Leopard on Lion they now appear in a straight line so when you want to jump through from one space to another you just roll right through and mind you, most of these new features now have gestures that are involved. I'll show you guys what the gestures for each one is in a while. So basically, Mission Control just lets you jump from one screen to another, pull some applications from one to another. And as you may have noticed, you can also change the desktop background from each um, space that you have. You can add more here on the right hand side, just keep adding and adding. Well you get the point. So some of the new gestures that they have brought into Lion is the new swipe between pages, swipe between full screen apps, and the mission control which is three fingers up, sorry, four fingers, and expose, launch pad, which is pretty tricky of a gesture actually. The most annoying one you would realize is that by default the scroll is inverted, whereby as you s scroll down, the pages would start rolling in the opposite direction of what you would normally be used to. This was done to create similar manner of the iPad. Sadly, it doesn't really work on the Mac. Not to worry, if you want to change that, just come over to the... or go over to the trackpad settings and just turn scroll direction natural off and it's done. Alright, some of the other features that you may have noticed is most of the windows now are a little more curvy on the edges. This is because now you can you can maximize and minimize your app, your windows just by dragging any corner not just the one on the right edge as before. And you now notice that in your finder you have a new way of viewing your files. So you can just scroll through right here. That's pretty much it. Well, there's also a new thing here now called AirDrop. What AirDrop is, is it finds Macs in your network and lets you send files to one another easily. So you could just, let's say I, if I had another Mac around here, I just need to drag one of my apps, uh, not apps, sorry, my files, and just throw it in there. That's pretty much what AirDrop is. So you'll notice that most of the, well, native apps for Mac 
will now include this new full screen feature which is on the top right corner so if you click that you will just have a full screen mode nothing else just your application that's running and if you want to jump through you could always just scroll through your other spaces or if you want to get out of that mode you just go back to the top and shrink that back alright another change that you will notice is in the mail so now you can just add your accounts, your mobile me accounts, gmail those of you who have iPads and I or iPhones will recognize this sort of setup, a simple step by step. So the new mail app. There we go. So it's pretty much like the iPad where you have all your whole inbox here on your left and each message on the right hand side. We have a new iCal now as well with this huge brown border. I'm not really digging that but oh well. So likewise you can maximize that full screen as well. No issues with that. Alright, another feature that Lion has is the resume and autosave feature. This means that when you turn your computer off, Lion could memorize where your apps were, what you were running before, and sh shut down. When it restores again, it'll just bring everything up once again, just like how you left it. This could also be tricky for when you're trying to restart your computer and you have some applications that you want to be killed that you don't want reopened, I mean. So you'll notice that when you restart, you'll see this new option here that says reopen windows when logging back. You could always just turn that off if you don't want it. With the whole new iOS feature that's going in, Apple's trying to make if you can if you notice a scroll bar on the right hand side, that can be toggled off so that it looks like the iOS. So as you see, you, it's normally but on default, it will only appear when it's when you're actually scrolling. If you want to change that. You could always just go into System Preferences, head into General, then show scroll bars always on, and done. Another feature that you'll notice is Lionel Autocorrects. That's right, it's just like your iPhone. So to change that off, you just go into Language and Text, head on to the Text tab, and turn that off. The spotlight has changed as well, so if you would like to, let's say you're going to search for a file, so there we go, if you hover over the files now, you'll have a quick look of each of the files, so let's see, if it's a video for example you'll have a little quick look here also if you notice the quick looks have changed slightly so if you'd like to quick look that you can notice how the top bar here is now changed so you can 
it'll have a suggested application that you want to open it with or like the full screen mode it's all in the same place now pretty similar it's just user interface changes around the place but of course there's also the performance upgrade that Lion has especially if you're using SSDs you might want to consider upgrading because the new Lion OS supports trim which will allow you to sort your files and make use of that SSD much better alright have fun hope you guys enjoy Lion and if you don't or if you do leave your comments below